right guys, today we're gonna work on a shovel, but before we start, let's look back at the different stages of the bike. This is the bike when I first got it in 2016. I bought it in Sacramento from a guy named Pete. Pete and I are still friends to this day. I see him at swap meets all the time. This was my first Harley and I had no idea what I was doing, but the first step was to remove all the unnecessary stuff, trimming the fat pretty much. I got new tires, Avon MK2 5x16 for the front and rear. Got a new gas tank and handlebars. So this is pretty much the first complete stage. The paint color is actually from a Honda Civic and the oil bag is from Moon Eyes. I replaced the shocks with struts, um, pan head swing arm, chopped the stock exhaust and added exhaust tips. And the air filter is from Old Stuff, it's the B blocker. And then for the bars, I swapped over to Jack's Rabbits from Baxter. And I kept the uh, wide black front end. The headlight is actually from my Honda Shadow that I just painted. In order to motivate my friends and I to finish our bikes, I threw this thing called the Link Split Build Off. This was actually our second year. The first year was a cafe racer theme. And this year was the Bobbers and Choppers. And this was the year that Dennis took the win. Whoever wins this also has to drink uh, yeah. this little three shots right here. Three shots. Three shots. Dennis Ho. I think you guys are all coming, man. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Son. Thanks, man. Yeah, your turn. Take it. It's all the booty. Cheers, boys. Shout out. Hey, thanks for the part. Oh, yeah, Where's Brian? Yeah. Damn. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I'm shocked. I'm not the money. Uh, That's the reason you want. Hey, Dennis, kill it. At this stage, I got rid of the wide glide front end and swapped it with a nail glide. For the front wheel, I went with a 19 inch mag. I ran T bars, got a smaller 4.5 inch headlight. I wrapped the exhaust and got a bicycle kicker pedal. Everything is pretty much the same at this stage besides the front wheel. The front wheel is actually from a Honda CB. I wanted to run a fun drum and I had to machine the axle to fit. All right, we got into the Springer stage. The Springer I got from Throttle Edition. This is the 18 inch version. I threw back on the 16 inch wheel with the Avon MK2 tire and then different headlight, uh, different risers and bars and I got a new shifter. At this stage, I got rid of the short fender. I found this new aluminum fender from a swap meet and I added a Moon Eyes wheel cover for the rear. Then got a Frisco mounted narrow sports tank. Threw back on the Jackrabbit bars and a different headlight. I got the tank painted. The color is from a Land Rover. And then I made new pipes. These are the uh, SJ pipes. Here we have the bike back on the lift, ready for a makeover. Got the bike down to bare bone and the hardtail is from V-Twin. Got the hardtail done. It was actually finished back in November of last year, but I was so busy with life, work, and other projects, I just left it collecting dust until now. With that said, let's start on today's video. For this uh, setup, I'm not gonna be running a Springer front end because uh, I put it on the Vulcan. Springers are cool and they look great, but I don't like the way they ride. It's too bouncy for my taste. This is the front end that I'm gonna be using. It's a custom chrome wide glide front end that I found on Facebook Marketplace for 250 bucks. I really like the design of the triple tree. And what's unique about this tree is that there's no top nut right here. It's actually bolted on the bottom like that, which is pretty cool. And it has the uh, headlight mount already, so yeah. And then over here, we have the old tank that I bought at a swap meet. I'm not gonna run the uh, Moon Eyes one that I had before because I wanna run a battery in the middle. 
And with this frame, there's not a lot of space to uh, mount the battery. So I'll be running that oil tank. And also this headlight, I'm just gonna mock it up. Might not run it, but I just wanna see how everything is gonna look. And over here we have this gas tank that a friend gave to me. I'm not sure I'm gonna run it, but I'm gonna mock it up as well. Got a pretty cool uh, gas cap. And over here is the aluminum fender that I'm gonna run again. I really like the look of it. And then for the tires, I'm gonna be running a 19 front and a 16 rear. The front is a Coco Diamond style and the rear is a Avon MK2 5x16. But yeah, today's goal is to have a, a complete roller so I can see the stance of the bike. All right, let's go ahead and put everything together. All right, first things first, we're gonna install the front end. All right, got the front end on. Next, we're gonna install the front wheel. Next, we're gonna install the rear wheel. Next, we're gonna install the risers and the bars. Just gonna mock up the headlight. Next, we're gonna mock up the tank. Gonna zip tie the tank for now. Next, we're gonna do the old tank. Next, we're gonna put the fender on. Here we got the complete roller, really digging the new stance. The 19 front and 16 rear just looks so good. But yeah, I'm gonna take the bike out, take some photos. All right, just got the bike back on. I'm gonna mock up the transmission and maybe throw the motor in just to see how it look. All right, here we got the shovel so far. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for this new look. Can't wait to uh, put them together, start the bike, ride it, and take it apart for paint. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.